Hi guys, welcome back to Nothing Geek TV. Today I got a Yu Yu Reka pitched against Xiaomi Mi 4 i handset. Now let's compare which one is better. So I have a 5 and a half inch uh, HD display on the Eureka. The display is good enough but the colors appear a bit soft and washed out. On the other hand, I have 5 inch full HD display with massive pixel count on the Mi 4i and uh, the viewing angles, the colors even under sunlight are really splendid. So the touch on both the phones is equally good but uh, the, if you talk about the uh, color quality and the display quality it's better on the Mi 4i. As far as the build quality is concerned both the phones are plastic. I have a unibody uni body polycarbonate plastic on Mi 4i and I have a <coughs> on Eureka it's not a unibody thing but the back plate it got some foamish thing uh, which makes it good to grip and uh, good in feeling so so both phones are good when it comes to the build quality good enough and uh, I have the speaker grill and the camera lens placement almost uh, similar in both the handsets now if we talk about I can remove the back plate on uh, Eureka I'll just remove it and show you so I have a 25 <coughs> Sorry, 2500 milliamp hour battery in uh, the Eureka. So I have slot for two SIM cards and one micro SD card on U Eureka. And uh, the battery too, it, it's a removable battery. Uh, if we talk about uh, the other phone, that is Mi 4i, the battery, it's a non removable battery, and uh, uh, I have to uh, pop out this tray and I can insert two 4G SIM cards and I have a big 3000 uh, mAh battery so overall guys if the battery backup is taken into consideration I get almost a similar battery backup uh, in spite of this phone having a sl slightly bigger screen uh, it is not full HD it is just HD and this one is uh, full HD so overall uh, around 1.25 of battery backup is what you can expect Coming to the performance next, let me test the OTG support. So I will, uh, I have popped in this uh, cable and it has directly opened the storage. I like this and it is showing me the total space and the available space. So it's confirmed that Eureka uh, supports uh, the uh, OTG cable. Let me test the OTG uh, for uh, the Xiaomi Mi 4i. and uh, I'll, it hasn't opened it by default but I'll go to the storage and check it over there so yup it too has detected it is showing me the total available space 8 GB pen drive it is and available is 6.28 GB good enough both the phones support OTG Apart from that, there's 2 GB of RAM on both the phones. Both the phone run Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 processor and it's a first gen processor on Eureka while it's a second gen on Xiaomi. So let's see uh, what NT2 has to say. So it's a nice 31,969 score on Eureka which is decent enough. I'm surprised by the low score of Mi 4i which is 25,229. I ran the test two times and this is the score which I'm getting. So let's see uh, what the ranking has to say. Mi 4i is obviously ranked below uh, the Eureka. Eureka is ranked above HTC One and Redmi Note uh, while Mi 4i is below that. Surprising, really surprising. Now what does this score for mean for users? guys? As far as regular tasking is concerned, multitasking like uh, running Facebook, WhatsApp, opening emails and uh, running uh, several other apps at the same time is good enough on both the phones. Don't worry about the heating factor. Uh, heating is there in every phone. It's, it's not uh, a single concern for these two phones. And as far as gaming is concerned, Eureka will perform slightly better than the Xiaomi Mi 4 uh, in terms of gaming. Uh, Heavy games uh, can be played on both the phones, 
but on Xiaomi, uh, it's better if you play those at medium to low graphic settings. Some games like Asphalt 8 uh, Airborne will run at highest graphic setting on the Eureka. So not a big difference on that front too. Now let me show you the multi-touch on both of these handsets guys. So I have a 5 point multi-touch on uh, Eureka and I have a 10 point multi-touch on uh, Xiaomi Mi 4i. Let us see <coughs> the sensor. So both the phones support. Uh, all right, me for I suppose more number of sensors, direction, gra gravitation, acceleration, light, e compass, proximity, gyro, uh, linear acceleration and rotation. While the sensors supported in Eureka are only acceleration, light, proximity, and gyro. So. Mi 4i supports 8, this supports 4 sensors. So overall, if you talk about performance, uh, both the phones perform equivalently. Not a major difference. Coming to the camera, a 13 and a 5MP shooter, camera lens is not bulging. Let me show you the images which I clicked using the camera. I'll move on to the gallery. And... Uh, This is light yellowish tinge in the camera of uh, the U Eureka. Uh, as you can see, the ball is in the natural state and natural color in Mi 4i, but that's not the case in Eureka. Even the detailing uh, of the seam and the cracks is not that much visible clearly in Eureka as compared to the Mi 4i. So this was the rear camera moving on to the front facing camera on both these devices. Let me just zoom in. So I have a slightly better front facing camera in Eureka as compared to the Mi 4i. Mi 4i front facing camera is not that good. So guys it's, it's a tie in the camera front while the rear camera of Mi 4i is much better than uh, what we have on Eureka but uh, the uh, front facing cam of Eureka, Eureka is better than the Mi 4i. So overall guys, we have talked about a lot of areas in both of these phones. Uh, when it comes to the display, Mi 4i is ranked ahead. Uh, when it comes to build quality, both phones are equivalent. Uh, moving on to the performance area, uh, Eureka is slightly ahead. Although I'll again say in um, that's on cheese, but uh, when it comes to actual real world usage, uh, both the phones are tied over their battery front, it's a tie. And camera front again, it's a tie. Uh, so guys uh, overall uh, if you uh, like a bigger phone a slightly bigger phone it's a five and a half inch phone a big uh, form factor I have on you can see uh, then you can opt for Eureka it is also priced <coughs> much less than what me is pri me for I is priced at but if you like a phone with a full HD, really beautiful display with a small form factor, the bezel are also on minimum and uh, a really nice rear camera, then Mi 4i should be your choice. So hopefully I would have sorted out your many of your queries. If you still got any, kindly use the comment section below. I'll uh, reply to all the comments personally and don't forget to hit the subscribe button over here. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.